Three of the most commonly used widgets to display content on your website revolve around the page title, the heading, and button widgets. The page title is essentially exactly what you would think it would be. It's displaying the title of the page. And a lot of the times we really just want this to be an automatic title. Now the automatic title is going to relate to the page title down here. And by allowing it to be automatic, uh, especially if you're having sub pages and so forth, this allows you to um, essentially clone this page and let it to be um, automatically generating the right title and you're not having to customize it each time. What is important though is thinking about where you want the page title to be located. Uh, it is often either located on the far left or in the dead center of the um, page. So if I want to move this into the center, I'm going to come into layout, alignment, and actually make it center. Uh, just like every other widget, we can essentially control the margin, the padding, uh, the background properties, and then the design portion of this widget has a few different settings. Uh, when it comes to headings and um, buttons, it's important to understand that it goes beyond just widgets. If we come into the design section, style editor, we can come down here and you can configure the different styles of headings and the different styles of buttons. Now, by doing this from the beginning, right after you configure the theme, um, it, it allow you to then have that consistency throughout the website and not having to be recreating that button or heading uh, color scheme and style and so forth each time and having the consistency and quickness uh, by just configuring the de different defaults and then selecting which one to use at the right time. So let's come back to widgets. Now this uh, page titles design uh, you can see these different heading styles are what I was just referring to within that design section. So if we switch between these, that's what would change this style. Now within each page title, we could control the font. Uh, there are over a hundred fonts to choose from. We can change the color very easily to whatever we want it to be, uh, change the size. And the line height is essentially if we have multiple lines, um, we're creating more spacing in between one line and the other. So if two, if two lines look like they're too close to one another, you want to increase the line height. The weight is actually the thickness of the text. So how bold do we want this text? And this is really going to change the look of the text itself. So we can make it more bold or less. Um, a lot of the times with titles or headings, you're gonna have it be a little bit more bold. Um, we can italicize it. We can make, um, right now everything is capitalized. If I wanted to make it all small caps, I could. Um, the spacing is actually very, very important. Um, when it comes to text, it's amazing how different a font can look just based on changing the space. So if you look at how close this uh, text is by default compared to this, it, it's very different. Um, and, and they even make it easier to see. Let's uh, come down to transform. Uh, and actually right now it's all uppercase. So everything is uppercase. If I hit none, then it's going to make it like this regular. And again, the decoration allows me to give it an underline, overline, or line through it. Um, so again, very different. Uh, things we can do between the decoration and transformation, but the spacing is where it's also really at. So right now, the only thing different between this and what we're displaying is the fact that the weight is different. Um, and then also the spacing, because again, look how close this is compared to that. But if I start decreasing the spacing, you know, all of a sudden it starts looking much more like this. So. It's just again important to realize you can uh, use just one font a lot of the times and get several different effects across the board by changing the spacing, the weight, um, and then again applying some type of transformation or decoration. Now everything we did with the page title here uh, is very, very similar to the uh, heading itself. The only thing that's really different between the two is the fact that the page title is typically automatically created and we're gonna have it at the center, you know, the middle and at the top of the page. Uh, otherwise, a header 
uh, is essentially the exact same widget almost. Um, instead of being at the top though, it's often either a link or it's just again a title above other content. And then we can control everything just like we did with the other heading. And then again, this is showing you the different heading uh, preformats that we have within the, um, again, design portion of the software. So again, there's really nothing between different that much between headings and the head, uh, page title. Lastly, we have buttons. Now buttons are um, obvious, they're exactly what they sound like. It's, it's a button that is typically going to link us from uh, this page to another. And when we add a button and then we add a link, um, we can come to existing page and then we're gonna choose the actual page we want to navigate to or we could actually take them off of the website and take them anywhere, put it here. Um, and then if you do take them off the website, it's often a good idea to open in a new window. That way, when it opens in a new window, it opens a new tab in the browser and it's not taking them off of your website completely, it's just opening a new tab. When it comes to buttons, again, we can configure the design just like we could with the heading and again if I come to design style editor down here we can configure these different styles of buttons so you see standard minor action important hero and add to cart um, within this button itself within design I can change between them and that's what is pre-formatting essentially what that button is going to uh, look like um, so if we do it at the beginning here it's just going to be much better because this will have the default design settings uh, so just like the other uh, widgets that I've displayed, we have the text um, that we can control, um, except it, it's a little less than what we had in the page title. Uh, vertical padding and horizontal padding, so that's the amount of space, again, between the text itself and the blue area, essentially bounding box. So sometimes if your text gets closer to the edge here, you're going to need to decrease your, vert or not your vertical, uh, your horizontal padding. That way it's not trying to create so much space and it'll allow that text to be displayed before being cut off. Um, you sometimes want to uh, create a border and then sometimes you want to round that border. And uh, whenever we're applying these different colors, realize that buttons are often, most of the time, they're links. So because they're links, we want to often create a hover effect of some kind. That way it identifies itself as a uh, link. And once we hover over it, we can make the uh, color change essentially. So, and that's where we do it here. But then when we actually want to see what it looks like, I can hover over the button. And in this case, uh, just the red change. Let's make the background color become red. And that actually would do enough. And you can see right there, that's the simulation will happen when the customer does it. Just like the button, or just like the other heading and the page title, we have the background layout and other uh, capabilities just like every other widget. Hopefully uh, this video helps. Again, these are three of the most popular widgets you're gonna use. Uh, if you really wanna streamline using them though, make sure you start by going into the design section and creating the different uh, pre-formatted default versions. Thank you.